Hi there folks and welcome to the Word Solutions for this week's The Daily Digger, issue number 321. So our first story this week is an environment story. So there's a stretch of road um, in England where as part of the planning permission they agreed to plant 850,000 trees but it's found um, in a recent survey that due to a combination of poor soil and extreme heat half a million of them have died. And of course only growing trees capture carbon or improve habitat so they're not fulfilling their purpose. Anyway, we've to express the number of trees lost first of all as a fraction of the total number of trees planted. So half a million um, have been lost, so of course that's 500,000 and that's out of a total number of trees of 850,000. And then of course it tells us to simplify this fraction. So the biggest number we can actually divide top and bottom by here is actually 50,000. 500,000 divided by 50,000 is 10 and 850,000 divided by 50,000 is 17. But of course you could have simplified it in different stages if you wanted to. So in part B we have to work out on average how much will it cost to replant each tree. So the total cost of replanting is 2.9 million, so 2,900,000 and we need to share that equally between the number of trees to be replanted, so half a million were lost. Um, so that means that we're going to be divided by 500,000. And that comes to a staggering £5.80. I think you could probably get that cheaper from your local garden centre. Um, and that's taxpayers' money as well. But anyway, on to our science story. And a um, professor has decided to live underwater for 100 days to see what it does to his body. Well, whatever floats his boat, well, obviously nothing will be floating his boat because he'll actually be underwater. But you know what I mean. So he began in the 1st of March. So if he succeeds, when will his experiment be over? So 31 days in March, 30 days in April, and 31 days in May. So that comes to 92 days. So that means there's eight days left over, um, and that's going to be into the following month of June. So it'll be the 8th of June 2023 is when he gets to resurface, and good luck to him. The current record time spent underwater is 26 days less than this professor's aim. So on what date will he beat the current record? So we can take 26 off of 100, so the record just now is 74 days. So when will we beat that record? So what we can do is we can add up um, March and April, which is 61, take that off the 74, so that's 13 days left, so 13 days into May. So on the 30th of May 2023, um, it will have broke the record, so maybe somebody wants to maybe chap the glass tank and tell him just to keep him going. Anyway, on to our sports story. Um, I mean, technically it'll probably be the 14th of May though um, to actually surpass the record. So on to our sports story now. So they were originally going to make the next World Cup um, three group teams, three, um, three team groups, um, but now they want to go back to the popular format of four teams per group. And the reason why they'd originally um, went to three teams in a group is because the teams are increasing to 48. But they're still going to keep keep four teams per group because um, it's the current format which has proven to be very popular. So how many groups will there now be instead of 16? So there's going to be 48 teams. We're going to share that equally um, by four. So that's going to be 12 groups altogether. So for the second part, we're told that in the group stage of the World Cup, each team within a group plays the other teams exactly once. So how many group stage games will there be all together in the 2026 World Cup? So we just need to be systematic here. Team 1's going to play Team 2, Team 1's going to play Team 3, and Team 1's going to play Team 4, and that's all of Team 1's games. So let's start with Team 2 now. They've already played Team 1, so they've still got to play Team 3 and Team 4, and that's all of um, Team 2's games done. And then after that, we'll look at Team 3. So they've already played Team 1. They've already played Team 2. So they've still got to play Team 4. And as you can see, that's Team 4 having played everybody as well. So we can see there that that's six games all together per group. There's 12 groups, so it's going to be 12 lots of six, which is 72 group games all together. But we've got another good few years before we actually get to look forward to it. Okay, so on to our final story for health. So it's actually a bit of advice being given to parents to maybe try giving their children peanut butter a wee bit earlier between the ages of four to six months because it could reduce the risk of um, of, of um, developing a peanut allergy. Now what actually shocked me here is that peanut allergies actually affect around 
one in 50 of children in the UK and it's been increasing in recent decades. So what is this figure as a percentage? Well, first of all, as a fraction, it's one out of 50. And what we can actually do is create a wee equivalent fraction here by multiplying top and bottom by two. So we'll get two in the top and we'll get 100 on the bottom. Now, two out of 100, of course, just means 2%. So that was the answer that we were looking for. And there we have it, folks. That was our work solutions for this week. We hope you enjoyed solving these problems. Stay tuned for next week's edition when we're going to be looking at more stories for the news of the week and the numbers behind them. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.